I thought I would take a break from helicopter practice just long enough to make a part two. Welcome back. A few months ago, I made a video called Things Men Don't Want You To Know, and the response that it got was absolutely awesome and overwhelming. Since then, I've been getting messages on all of my social media platforms, links in the description box, to make a second episode, all from women. Men just keep sending me messages like, Dude, you're giving away all of our secrets. If you haven't seen that episode yet, I'm going to put a link on your screen. I'm also going to make sure that it's the first link down in the description box. Make sure you take a minute, check it out. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope it makes you laugh. But that was then. This is now. And I have five more things that men do not want you to know about. All right, let's start this out on a mature point. Number one, pooping. Okay. Prepare yourself, because I am about to answer a question that is almost as popular as is there an afterlife or are we alone in the universe? That question is, why do men take so long to poop? There are a few different reasons, the most popular being social media. Attempting to become Instagram royalty should be done while already sitting on a throne. The second most popular is the relaxation. Sometimes it's the only point during the entire day where we can be away from other people and other situations and we just want to squeeze, pun intended, every single moment out of it so that we can be recharged and refreshed and ready for the next situation. Even if that means a 30 minute poop. The third reason is pretty obvious. You may even be doing it right now. There's nothing quite like watching YouTube videos on the toilet. Cute cat videos 24 hours after barbecue night? Talk about relaxing. Wow. Gross. Number two, search history. If you've ever asked to use a guy's phone or laptop, you may have noticed the flicker of fear that flashes across his eyes. Let me break this down for you. It's 2% fear that you are going to run away with this phone, 3% fear that you're going to take a look at the last picture he took, 1% fear that he left his Netflix app open and when you turn on his phone, the sound of the Pokemon theme song is going to blare super loudly, letting everyone in the room know exactly what he was watching while he was pooping. And 94% fear that you're going to need to use the internet browser on his phone and his recent search history is going to pop up and you're going to see exactly what he's looked up in the last couple of weeks. There are two ways that you can avoid the flash of fear. The first way is ask for his phone like this. Hey, do you think I could borrow your phone in a couple of minutes? The simple suggestion of in a few minutes gives him enough time to clear any content off of his phone that he doesn't want you to see. That way he's not panicking while you're standing there like, the second method is actually the preferred one. This is where you just get your own damn phone. Number three, odor. Very few men will care about how they smell if they're completely alone. If the only plan that we have for the entire day is like a video game binge or an afternoon of drinking beer alone in the living room with the curtains drawn while we softly cry to episodes of the Fosters. Wait, we all do that, right? we will have no intentions of showering or even putting on deodorant. There are exactly zero people who are going to give an F if we stink when we are home alone. But we could make a trip to the city garbage dump on the hottest, sweatiest day of the year and have a conversation with some guy who slept under a pile of used diapers and ate garlic cloves for breakfast. And we would still try to smell like the guy from the Old Spice commercial just because we're having a conversation with another human and may come in contact with even more humans. We don't make any sense at all. Huh. Number four, directions. The reason why we don't like asking for directions is simple. We genuinely don't feel like we're lost until there is no hope of us ever being found again. By the time you hear us say, okay, Maybe you should check the map. I promise you that it is already entirely too late and you should just start having a conversation about who to eat first. So until we hit panic mode, we're not lost. It's just the scenic route. And last, and most embarrassing, number five, the tuck. I'm gonna keep it totally real and just dive deep into the land of too much information. Are you ready? Every guy you've ever met and will ever meet has at one point in his life tucked his junk between his thighs to see what he would look like if he had a vagina. 
Every single one. He's also probably walked around his friends like this just to see if he can shock them. Now, we're fully aware that this is ridiculous and we know that we would be mortified if somebody ever walked in and saw us doing it, but that hasn't stopped a single member of the world's ma- I just said member. <laughs> That hasn't stopped a single member of the world's male population from doing it. I promise you that Einstein, Napoleon, every pope who's ever lived, your father, they've all done it. So go for it, let the judging fest begin. And there you have it, five more things the guys didn't want you to know about. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, or if you can relate to anything in the video, make sure that you smash the thumbs up button and go ahead and join the conversation down in the comments section below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I'm sorry about the nightmares that you're gonna have about your male relatives practicing their tuck, but I will see you very, very soon. Bye, sorry, it was gross today.